Hey guys, Christina here. And I don't know if these plants are gonna make it, but I'm gonna try. Um, this is a new bed that I'm trying to partially compost down and create a raised bed at the same time. And unfortunately, these zucchini plants got damaged on the way home from the farmer's market. And that's a recycled onion right there, so we'll see. But I keep watering this every day just to get the hay to break down. This was alfalfa hay. It was actually really nice bales, and I told the guy to give me his crappiest bales, but he didn't have crappy bales. So, anywho, um, God, we'd walk through while I water plants. And, uh, by the way, this gets really super warm if you stick your hand in the dirt. It's warm because it's composting. I thought I'd water plants and, um, talk about something I just recently heard about. Uh, it seems Tess Holiday decided she wanted to get herself attention again. And she's claiming she's anorexic. And that she has the papers to prove it. In case you don't know Tess, um, she's like 450 pounds, something like that. And uh, well, it looks like my dill might not make it either. Um, she... Uh, always brags about fat acceptance and how gorgeous she is and um, films her eating you know pizzas and cakes and everything and brags about how beautiful she is being fat which you know good honor but um, I eat dandelions so just ignore those um, anyway uh, the criteria for anorexia generally involves um, being afraid to be fat, um, being so scared that you're going to be fat that you undereat to the point that you're um, pretty much a skeleton with skin. And um, she's come under fire by a lot of people who are anorexic, catnip, and um, They've had her on news channels where she's talking about anorexia and how she has it and everything. And just slapping anorexics in the face. Now, it's not something I've ever had as an experience myself, thankfully. Um, I learned more binging behavior than anything else. Um because there was not a lot of food in my house and there's a whole big story around that that a few people know but not many um so uh she uh she's kind of kicking those people in the in the butt you know to be nice um she all of her actions have been far from the actions of an anorexic. And that's not to try and pigeonhole people or anything like that, but we're dealing with actual mental and emotional disorders that have specific traits that are, that's the way it is. And she doesn't fit the diagnostic criteria at all just by her behavior any more than I do um a binging I'd believe if she has a binging disorder or maybe even bulimia because there's a lot of bulimics who are not skinny but they try to be in the worst ways you know I'd believe that but not not anorexia she's trying to gain more notoriety more attention and that's all this is, is an attention grab. And it's just disgusting. I could not believe that. And she's getting attention. I'm giving it to her myself, I guess. 
So yeah, I haven't fully weeded this. I Both of my hands are sore, so I have to finish weeding the strawberries, re-weed the bed at the end before I put tomato plants in. And um, this is garlic and onions in this bed. And some onions are coming up, which is happy. Um, the other bed that I was watering had hot peppers and dill and um, rosemary and the basil plant didn't make it because the first night it got really super cold. I covered everything but then it uh, didn't matter because the wind was so strong it blew the sheets out from under the rocks that I had placed down. Here I've got two new blueberry plants three blueberry plants in general already and they're dug on it I already have blueberries coming look at that <laughs> night nice. and then all my raspberry patch right here which I have to prune some back because it likes to spread raspberries spread by rhizomes and they will spread everywhere so I have to constantly watch them, just like the grapevine is coming in again. I have to constantly watch that too, because um, it'll overgrow my entire yard. It's, it's grown out to the sidewalk before. <laughs> and it does champagne grapes along that fence. I'll be getting more hostas in, and I'm planning on growing squash along that fence. And then probably putting a temporary fence up over there because um, I'm going to be having a little kid come and visit and I want to be able to have the yard fenced in. And no, we haven't had a good solid batch of rain, so I'm going to do the strawberries here too. I have to weed them some more. And one more thing I thought I'd comment on. I, I just need to say it. Um... And it's not because Shani and Rev had donated me money when they were doing a bit better or anything like that. This is just based on my observation. And, um, yeah. Uh, she did a cooking live stream where she sat, cause I, and the girl has got physical issues. It's making it hard for her to walk and stand and everything. And I understand that. She sat down and did two and a half hours of cooking and then, you know, doing dinner and everything. And what got me is that there were like three or four other people that were live streaming her live stream at the same time that she was streaming it. And complaining about her cooking. They complain if she goes out to eat, and uh, mind you, or it does DoorDash, and yeah, there's a lot of money that's spent there, and people make mistakes. My finances are shit because I've made some pretty hefty mistakes. Um, some people can't handle money very well, and you know, it's it is what it is. They they made up made kind of a mess of themselves and they're trying to fix it and that's you know that's okay so she's actually cooking and I've only watched about I don't know maybe an hour of it so far um because I don't watch a lot I'll have stuff going on in the background at the same time and the thing is is if you sit down and just watch it or just listen while you're doing things and you know you're in her kitchen and it's like anybody else's live stream I had fun listening to it I was gaming I was just relaxed it was nice and quiet it was like being in somebody's house and just you know having a conversation and and rambling on and having a talk and being in the kitchen together and prepping meals and stuff, which I do with some of the home care stuff. And it was just nice. 
And I have not watched the com the commentaries, the, the people that were live streaming her stream at the same time she was streaming. I haven't watched them. I have no interest. Because there's other things, other drama out there that is worth a lot more at this point. Like Helton doubling down, saying that blacks were the ones that owned slaves. Um, that needs to be called attention to often. Um, Tess Holiday claiming she's anorexic. That needs to be called attention to. People need to be aware of those things. Yes. And despite some of the things that have been said by Shani and have been said by Rev in the past, which they have apologized for, and I'm taking that apology at face value because that's the way I am. I think these efforts are better put elsewhere. And if she wants to do more cooking streams like that, more power to her. Hopefully she'll get her physical health back together at some point and be able to move around a lot more and stuff. And, you know, people were already comparing her to Chantal and all of that. These girls got there because their mental health is not good. I got there because my mental health is not the greatest. Um, I'm in a lot of pain 24-7 now. It often hurts to walk. It hurts to move my hands. It, you know, my back, my neck is shot. It's, I'm in pain all the time. And there's a lot of things I can't take because they either make me sleep or I'm allergic to them. So I just have to deal with it. And I screwed up my body myself. I put myself in that situation. And there were reasons behind it. And Shani's got her reasons behind it. what happened to her, what, you know, has happened to her body. I, just like Life by Jen and even Amber at one point, there's days people still have to get things done whether they're in a ton of pain or not. And at least she's sitting there and having a good time and cooking for her family. And I cannot fault her for that. I don't think anybody else should be faulting her for that just because she sat down. Um, and and the restreaming thing, I guess, you know, it, it, it's why I've been, I've walked away from so much of it on the community. And, you know, I still have some that I talk to and, and, uh, you know, like Grampy, <laughs> Grampy Lobster is, is my jam. I adore him. And he's one of my best friends. Um, in real life, he's, he's there where uh, Paranor was. Um, and I had both at the same time as friends, so it's not that he's replacing Paranor. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I think better better efforts are made to be had elsewhere. Trying to find fault with every single thing that somebody you know has a mental illness does is not necessarily the way to go. We have things like Shane Dawson, who is a kid, kitty... Uh, into children in a bad way. Uh, we have things like that that are better efforts to put there. And, and this really, really serious racism that Helton's been displaying after his kids have been taken from him for the 12th time. You know, what, 13 times he gets a free dinner at at uh, Golden Corral? Um, you know, those sort of things. And, yeah, I know people are going to say, well, Shani, Shani did this as, as a mother and all of this. Nobody's a perfect parent. 
she has her her son with her you can tell she loves him and for her to ad seriously admit to loving somebody is very hard considering what she has going on emotionally and with her health um, and with her mental health um, not every borderline manifests the same way and it's a hard, hard disorder to deal with. Um, but there's other people out there who are genuinely rotten to the core. Or they're inf trying to be an influencer and ruin people and ruin causes in, in the progress. Like people who who've gotten into being vegan for the money and they are out there um was it i think james aspie who actually went and tried to destroy an animal sanctuary in panama he reported them and tried to get them shut down because they were not feeding the dog a vegan diet they were running on donations of food and money to care for their animals and they're feeding the animals as appropriately as possible um, stray cats are getting meat and hunting mice and all of that and you know things like that and he had he tried to ruin this place by claiming that it was just a petting zoo and that you know the wrong because they're not feeding all the animals a vegan diet. That sort of thing. Those people are disgusting. And the hard part, too, is when you have it so far that they're looking up every little bit of information that doesn't matter much um, now in Helton's case they actually did go and trace back like eight generations um, he has a little bit of native in him not enough to he might be able to get into the Cherokee tribe as a member but he has to have a social tie and he doesn't um, so I don't know there but it's like eight generations back um, so he's got a little bit there, you know, I don't, um, so people actually did research that is benefiting him at that point, because he can take that further and do more research on his family tree, and he's got an interesting family, he really does. So sometimes that kind of research can actually benefit, but then where do you get to the point where it's also stalking? You know, I just, I don't know anymore. I, I don't know where the line is drawn. Um, Jeffree Star bought new land and people are coming and coming out to his land and getting on his property and trying to get in his house and all of this. Where he's had to, he's now got like 50 security cameras and everything else. And it's, when does it become ridiculous? When does this become harmful? I, I, I just, I don't know anymore. I don't know what to think anymore. And so... You know, for the time being, I'm back to watching things like, uh, like, um, playing, uh, Terraria and stuff like that and just getting away for a while. And I'll probably be away for a while and if I get bored, I might get back into the drama community again watching what's going on. But, you know, I think everybody should just kind of take a breather and take a break and work on the areas where it is due like countering claims that 
black people were the slaveholders, not the whites, according to Helton. Countering claims of fake anorexia, countering, th you know, things like that. Let's go that far and try not, if you're going to be investigative, try to go that far, not trying to hang on everybody's, at one person's word, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah, there it is, and this was a bit longer than I planned, thought. And there's my asparagus that's growing for next year. I have five asparagus plants in this bed. There were six, but one of them didn't pop up. So it is what it is. Hopefully next time there'll be more weeding has been done. Anyway, blessed be everybody. Have a great day.